Okay, so something really fun happened in the first month of the year. President Trump says the rapid rise of the Chinese artificial intelligence company NVIDIA, yeah. losing nearly $600 billion in market cap today alone. They were able to create things dirt cheap. How? By leveraging what they've taken from us, stolen from us. A far less staffed, funded, and experienced team built the best AI model out there. So ChatGPT, which was the App Store's number one app, got dethroned by a newcomer. And this all happened with a new AI company called DeepSeek. 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 Which is a Chinese competitor to OpenAI, Anthropic, Mistral, Meta, and all the LLM providers you keep seeing. But again, why is there so much hype around this? And for that, there's three main reasons. The first one is, this company is not even a couple of years old. To compare, Meta and Google are multi-decade old and OpenAI will complete a decade this year. Number two is DeepSeek V3 required less than $6 million worth of computing power from NVIDIA H800 chips, not even comparable with the others spending billions of dollars. Number three is DeepSeek's recent models released last week are 20 to 50 times cheaper to use than OpenAI's O1 model, depending on the task, of course. And because of this, the entire social media, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, YouTube, and even Hacker News is filled with everything about DeepSeek. But hold on, let's not get carried away with all the controversy and America coping, Chinese celebrating and whatnot. What matters for us builders is that yes, these tools are remarkable. Yes, there will be competition. And let's keep all the controversy aside and focus on using this to build something because on this channel, that's what we do. So, we're going to build a real working web app from scratch. And we're going to use DeepSeek, of course. We'll use DeepSeek AI to do a bunch of things. Brainstorm our entire app, generate a bit of code, and learn from it like we've never coded before. So let's talk about Windsurf. If you've seen our previous cursor video, if not, make sure you watch it. So Windsurf is nearly the same as that with a different UI UX and AI-powered coding environment that helps you piece everything together. Debug and ship production-ready app. So along the way, here are the kinds of things you're going to learn. Great prompting practices, do's and don'ts of using AI tools, how to let DeepSeek handle most of the heavy lifting without losing control, how to use Windsurf to finalize your code, debug errors and deploy, and last but not least, the best basic practices so your app doesn't explode the second someone clicks the wrong button. Let's start with finding some ideas to build. We're going to go to DeepSeek.com and here you'll see two options. Either you can start now or use app. As we're on our desktop, we're just going to start with it. And before that, just take a look at these benchmarks. It beats everything, like it's nothing at all. But anyway, we're quickly going to sign up and let's get started. All right, so we're in. Let's see what we can build. So one of the ideas that we were discussing at the office was that there are thousands of resources to become more technical, learn to code, build apps, and much more. But a gamified version of sorts is very, very rare. And people have tried, but haven't been able to. So I thought this is something that we could possibly try out. So let's start brainstorming with DeepSeek itself. Let's put a great prompt in, okay? So here we could simply put a half-baked prompt saying, oh, we need an app to learn coding logic with games. Tell me how. But that won't necessarily cut it. It could, but as with prompting and using AI tools, it's always a great rule of thumb. Garbage in, garbage out. So here's how to write a good prompt. We are looking to teach programming logic through the creation of a simple and engaging game. This game is designed so that anyone, regardless of their coding background, can grasp fundamental programming concepts just by playing. I'd love to brainstorm with you to identify and develop game ideas that align with this objective. What kind of games can we build to make learning programming both fun and accessible? Oh, we got some ideas to build. So let's pick the first one and build it forward. Before we write a single line of code, let's talk to DeepSeek to nail down exactly what we're building, okay? So what you want to do is list out the core features we just mentioned, decide on the design style, clarify user flow, and pick the tech stack. Now see, this is gold. Because once we have all of these details hammered out, building is pretty much straightforward. No rethinking everything halfway through. So now that we have the exact scope of the game ironed out, it's time to open up Windsurf. Okay, so if you haven't used it before, this left panel over here is your project tree. So for your files and your folders, the center panel is the code editor. The bottom panel is the integrated terminal or logs. And the right panel is an AI chat window that you could use for help or for auto completions as well. All right, so let's create a folder called game. And here is where all our files will be stored. And because we're not coding it, we'll be heavily dependent on the chat window and just paste and accept whatever it throws our way. 
Now we'll put the entire scope of the game here and just ask it to build it. We'll simply copy paste the entire scope here and say, we need to build this game as a web app that people can just open and play. No need for logins or anything complex. Just build whatever is written above and make sure to teach the programming logic as mentioned. Now it'll start working on it. Okay, see, this is crazy. It created an HTML file, a CSS file, and a JavaScript file. And now it's writing some code for it. Okay, now it still looks good, but lacks the learning part. We'll just prompt it again. Users should be able to learn these concepts, have some UI, some learning concepts there, and teach the logic behind coding. Okay, see, 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 it's making changes to the files and updating everything in front of our eyes. And boom, we've got our game running and teaching. So now we can learn sequencing, we can learn loops, conditionals, and anything and everything we put here like a game. Okay, so it's common that you're gonna run into some errors. It's normal, okay? In a perfect world, everything compiles on the first try, but in reality, you're gonna see some missing libraries, missing imports, and small, small syntax errors, type errors, connection issues with external APIs, databases, and so much more. Okay, when it happens, don't panic. Just paste the error message into Windsurf's chat window or into DeepSeek. Both are excellent at diagnosing and spitting out quick fixes. So over here, what we're gonna do is you could simply ask, hey, I am getting this error when I am running the application. So that's the process. Identify the error, talk to the AI and fix it, rinse and then repeat. So once you have a stable build, try to do some quick checks, like push it to its extremes. Can you see if everything's fine? Close and open it again and check all the features. If it's all good, we can push it to GitHub and deploy it to Vercel and just a five minute long process if the build doesn't fail. But we'll keep that for another video. But you get the point, right? The main aim of this video wasn't to build a full-fledged 3D game. It was to show how top-notch AI is available to everyone, especially those who want to build a game. We built a simpler one for the sake of the video, but you can go deep, whatever you want. Spend more days, spend more resources, and build anything in today's world without any code. DeepSeek plus Windsurf blows the door wide open for anyone who's itching to build an app, but intimidated by the coding aspect of things. They don't replace actual engineering knowledge, but they do make the entire process unbelievably more accessible. So what are you gonna build next? The sky is the limit. A mind mapping tool for your next big idea, a small job board for your niche community, a fitness tracker for your marathon training group, the possibilities are endless. So make sure you drop a comment below on what you guys plan to tackle with DeepSeek and Windsurf. We'd love to see the kind of projects that you guys come up with. And until then, keep building.